So the president out of the country today, a blockbuster announcement out of the Justice Department, and it may have ignited a firestorm, really. Here's what uh, that announcement from Attorney General Eric Holder. After eight years of delay, those allegedly responsible for the attacks of September the 11th will finally face justice. They will be brought to New York, to New York, to answer for their alleged crimes in a courthouse just blocks away from where the Twin Towers once stood. All right, and there you see now the five suspects led by Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, self-proclaimed mastermind of the 9-11 plot. And now I'll show you a sample of the anger reaction that's coming out just a short time ago from Republicans. This is from uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. He calls it a step backwards for the security of the country that puts Americans unnecessarily at risk. Uh, he goes on to say our cities will face enormous security problems and our communities will be potential targets for attack. Joining me now from Washington, CNN senior political correspondent Candy Crowley. Uh, Candy, Senator Joe Lieberman is urging Joe Lieberman is urging the administration to reconsider. John McCain says he's extremely disappointed. This reaction doesn't surprise the White House, does it? It doesn't, but it doesn't cut cleanly along party lines. Uh, Senator Jim Webb of Virginia has also said he has grave concerns about this idea. It's why, if you, if you go back uh, into the Bush administration, there was always this argument about whether 9-11 was a criminal act or an act of war. And this is why words matter, uh, because this administration now has taken this in, in, in as a criminal act to be tried in a federal court. So an act of terrorism, indeed, but a, but a criminal act as, as opposed to an act of war. And so what are the complaints about this uh, it, from those uh, who say this is a bad idea? One, that it will become a circus, mm -hmm. that it will give a platform uh, to those who hate America, uh, that it is unsafe, uh, and that so much of what it, they don't want to have out there uh, will be at least asked for by the lawyers for the defense. Uh, now, it, it is also part of an overall picture, though, which is how do you close down Guantanamo? You have to do something uh, with these prisoners. So some are going to be tried in military uh, by military commissions. Others will be, at least these, will be tried uh, in civilian, although federal court. So it, there was almost no way to not make this a political issue. I, I know it yeah. was the, the hope of the Obama administration that this wouldn't become a a political issue, but it's not just a political issue, it's an emotional issue. Yeah. And so you see all of that coming to bear on this. But by moving it to New York, New York, you don't think it's become more of a political issue? Just by moving it, it there? It probably would have been less of a political issue, but not, yeah. uh, not a non-issue had all of this taken place in military commissions. And you even see the families of 9-11 victims saying, you know, different things. Some say, yes, I want to be there in court. I want to look these people in the eye. Yeah, and they get to go going, there. Right. And others saying, I, I just think, you know, they shouldn't be here. They're not uh, Americans. There are, there are a lot of uh, people who feel that they should not be afforded the rights yeah. that you get in a civilian trial. Well, so this debate was not going to go away by this decision. Well, Candy, Muhammad has at least confessed himself to doing it. But the question is here, and maybe some people really don't care, can they get a fair trial in New York? Well, certainly that, I mean, when you listen to the Attorney General, Eric Holder, today, uh, he was asked a, a lot of these questions, uh, including that one, including, well, what about, you know, what, you know we, we know he had been tortured, uh, you know, the, the, the mastermind of all of this um, ha was, was tortured, so therefore, aren't they going to bring that up? Won't it put, you know, uh, the U.S. on trial as well? And he sort of seemed to say, I've seen this. I would not, uh, you know, send this here unless I believed uh, that they would be found uh, guilty. I'm going to ask for the death penalty. We don't have to use that information. Uh, so there are a number of issues that do come up uh, that they seem to have weighed very carefully and come up with this decision. And it's like so many things. It's really easy to look at this and say, well, this could grow and this could grow and this could be a disaster. We won't really know if it's a good decision until afterwards. Yeah, even the president today in Japan, he was asked about it, and he said that uh, the American people insist on a trial. Um, what do you say? Let me get there, I think. Um, what, he will be talking about Mohammed, Sheikh Mohammed, will be the subject uh, to the most exacting demands of justice. The American people insist on it, and my administration will insist on it. So he is echoing what Eric Holder said today. But it is politically risky, Candy, don't you think? Because anything can happen during a trial. What if there's some technicality? And, well, and, what, and one, one of these guys is let go. Well, it's sort of one of these things like, what happens if that happens? Does, do they just go out onto the streets of New York. I mean, there, there must be, I mean, even if it's minuscule, 
there's a chance it's the American justice system. So yes, I mean, there's lots of really risky things that could happen here. It could become a circus uh, outside the court, inside the court, although there's no, no cameras allowed inside uh, federal court, but uh, people are allowed inside. So this could become, it could become a forum in some way, shape, uh, or form for uh, those who would try to destroy America for this particular brand of thought. So yeah, I think there are a lot of things there um, that really are risky risky for the administration, which leads me to believe that they understood this and that they, in the end, felt that this was the best way and the surest way, perhaps not just for the American people, but to show the world about the American system. Look, this is what we do. This is how we try people. These are the rights we give them. A lot of people don't think they should have those rights, by the way, here in America, but it does sort of, you know, showcase an American system mm -hmm. uh, either in a good way or a bad way. That's why I said, can you get a fair trial? Some people may not care because he's already confessed. But I want to ask you, speaking of this politically, though, some could give the administration credit. They might give administration credit for being bold on this or it could say that they've left themselves open for real trouble that we were talking about here. So that's yet that remains to be seen. Sure. And that's, again, there's so many times when we talk about politics and say, well, this could happen and that could happen. This could be a really bad decision. Mm -hmm. And I think until we see these trials, until we understand how they're viewed in the world, until we see what the outcome is, this is either going to be brilliant or it's going to be what were they thinking of? This was a disaster. Do you think right now the administration is someone at least is saying to the president or someone way high up, well, in retrospect, I wish we hadn't said that about closing Gitmo on the first day, you know, first 100 days or whatever in office. Uh, even if they haven't said it out loud, I think the kind of uh, grief yeah. that they've been getting and the sort of things that they have run into, so far they've sort of blamed it on the Bush administration didn't do the paperwork, didn't keep the records, uh, that sort of thing. But it was a very big deal, if you remember, when he signed that order and it yeah. was like the second day in office or something. And so, yes, uh, politically, it was, it, was, it was a very bad, you know, political move. Uh, in the end, six months from now, even if he doesn't meet his own January deadline, if he meets it in June, Will people care beyond that? I, I don't know, but I think in the immediate political realm, uh, it was a bad idea, and I think that's why you have seen some finger pointing at the White House, which resulted in some switchover in, uh, in senior uh, lawyers there, senior advisors. I think I appreciated this talk. It's like we're having coffee together, just hanging out. I know. Out. It's kind of fun <laughs> without great... the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> have a great weekend. All Thank right, you, Candy. You too, Dan.